Sergei Lavrov receives a rare warm welcome on the international stage. The Russian foreign minister came to India after a visit to Moscow's ally China. Neither India nor China have condemned Russia's invasion of Ukraine, with India abstaining from all votes on the war at the United Nations. Lavrov said Russia appreciates India's independent foreign policy, and along with China, they're working to bypass sanctions by using different currencies. Many years ago, we started uh, moving uh, in our relations with India, with China, and with many other countries from using uh, dollar and euros to more and more use of national currencies. Under these this circumstances, uh, this trend, uh, I believe, uh, will be intensified, which is natural and obvious. On the eve of Lavrov's visit, the Indian government defended its decision to substantially increase oil imports from Russia. When oil prices go up, I think it's natural for countries to go out into the market and look for what are good deals for their people. But I am pretty sure if we wait two or three months and actually look at who are the big buyers of Russian gas and oil, I suspect the list won't be very different from what it used to be, and I suspect we won't be in the top ten on that list. India is Analysts say India is putting its own national violence. interests first, like uh, any other country. What I think is upsetting the Western nations that is the fact that the Russians are willing to oil, offer some oil to India uh, with a huge discount, I'm told, of almost $35. Uh, so that, of course, uh, the Western nations would like to equate to profiteering. But uh, I would imagine that that is what any consumer would do when they go to the supermarket. If they find there is a sale on something they want to buy, they will utilize it. Uh, indeed, as you Russia is also India's biggest arms supplier, and Lavrov said the war in Ukraine won't disrupt that. India is walking a tightrope as it tries to keep good relations with Russia and the U.S. America's Deputy National Security Advisor for International Economics, Dalip Singh, visited Indian officials earlier this week. The Indian government has so far withstood all pressure from Western nations to take a tougher stand against Russia. The latest comments come from the architect of U.S. sanctions against Moscow, who warned on his visit to New Delhi on Thursday that there will be consequences for countries who circumvent them. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.